B. RA itself means how much or how many kilogram of A is produced per unit time. RB would be how many kilogram of B is produced by unit time as well within the same unit time. So these two combined should equal to Think about that. If you have two species and then there is a reaction in your system, one species is supposed to be reactant, the other is supposed to be product, right? If you have a reaction and you have only two species, one species must be reactant and the other one must be product. Suppose I let A to be a reactant, B will be a product number of mass of A disappear supposed to be equal to number of mass of B produced according to overall mass balance. So therefore these two terms combined will always get zero according to mass balance. If you have more than two species, you may have more than one reactant and more than one product, but again overall mass balance still become zero. There will be no net change in mass according to reaction because we can never produce mass, right? According to the first law of thermodynamics, oh no, first law said about energy, but from mass balance you never ever produce any mass. So, if I write down the equation nicely, I will get d rho by dt equal to minus del dot rho v, right? What is this equation called? What's it, what is it called? You have seen this equation before from momentum balance. This is called equation of continuity. So what's the difference between that equation continu continuity and this equation? They're both continuity equation. In the sense this is overall mass balance, but that one is mass balance of species I. Just like in your principal calculation you have mass balance for one specific species and then you can have also overall mass balance, okay? When we talk about momentum balance in chapter 3, in that, during that time the system would be pure component, single component. So when you take a balance around the species, it is equal to overall mass balance. During that time, density of the, of the solution is equal to density of the one specific, I mean one species. But in this case, when you have more than one species, the total concentration or density of the mixture is also the same thing as the, as the total concentration. Okay? So this row gives you two ideas. First would be total concentration, then the second one would be the density of the mixture. Right? Now, let's go back to this equation. This equation was derived based on molar mass unit, all right? So if I divide the whole equation here by molecular mass of species I, the density divided by molecular mass should give you molar density with respect to time. This part mass flux of species I divided by its molecular mass 
should give you molar flux. Okay? And production rate, you, you can divide them by molecular mass and convert it into molar production rate. Oops. Yeah. You should notice that this equation is scalar. Every term is scalar. Density is scalar. Time is scalar. Okay? Only flux here is a vector. But this vector is dotted by del, so therefore the product of the dot product should be a scalar. Production rate is scalar as well. This is scalar equation. All right? So you can either write it down in terms of mass basis or molar basis. Okay, then if I repeat the same process, combined molar flux is equal to diffusion flux represented in molar basis added by Ci V star. This is combined flux, diffusion flux, convective flux in molar basis plug it back in there, this equation should give you dCi by dt equal to minus Okay. Again, this is the same thing as mass equation earlier. Just convert it into molar basis. From here, normally as I said, when we use the equation, we, we normally prefer molar basis because it is more convenient for, for, the, for the use. So I'm going to look into this equation in a little bit more detail. Ci itself is C times Xi. This is concentration of BCI equal to total concentration times the mole fraction, right? So that means this differentiation is differentiation of the product. You can split it off to get C dxi by dt plus xi dc by dt. Okay? First term on the right hand side remains the same. Second term here. Once again, Ci is C times Xi. Del itself is like differentiation. So you have del of the product. You can split it in two terms, just like U dV and V dU, just like this part. Okay? The result. Okay, 
Now, I, I like to keep this one for the moment and then go back to this equation. For this equation, if I write down for species A, Okay, if I write down for species B as well, when you add these two equations together for every species in your system, for all species in your system, you add them up. As a result, the first term on the left hand side, you should get d by dt of Ca plus Cb. Ca plus Cb is total concentration C. Okay? Next term is diffusion flux. Ja star and Jb star combined should equal to zero. By definition, summation of diffusion flux is always zero. Doesn't matter whether you are represented in mass basis or molar basis. Summation would always give you zero. Okay? Next term, it will be del dot Ca plus Cb, you get total Z and V star. Right? The last term, Ra plus Rb, I'm going to say this one is summation of rate of rea reaction for all species. This is zero. Is it necessary zero? No, because even though mass is conserved, but mole is not. You can have reaction like this, 2A into B, okay? Combined mass of A is supposed to equal to combined mass of B. However, combined number of mole of A may not be equal to number of mole of B. So therefore, summation of RA and RB may not be zero. That's why we keep this, keep it this way. Okay? So, I'm going to take this equation and replace it back here. If you bring everything from this red equation to that left-hand side of that black equation, you will end up with xi in front of here. You have xi here, xi there, and xi there, okay? And xi, if I write down again, this should give you minus xi Okay, so this term and that term cancel out. 